Ministers from Poland and Hungary opposed the migration package. Bulgaria, Malta, Lithuania and Slovakia abstained. Mateusz Morawiecki, the Prime Minister, has said Poland will not agree to the EU's latest migrant relocation scheme and will not pay for migrants it refuses to take in. As long as there is a government of law and justice, we will not allow the policy of imposing some kind of immigration quota on us, some kind of refugee quota from Africa, the Middle East, Arab, Muslims or whatever. In the light of the solutions adopted, at least 30,000 people would be separated within the Union each year, of whom 2,000 migrants would be sent to Poland. The mechanism of forced relocation has proved to be unworkable, harmful and inadequate to the challenges, and it was already collapsed like a house of cards. Poland is the country that successfully managed the biggest post-war migration crisis, will not accept absurd ideas imposed. Failure to take in migrants is to be punished with a fine of 20,000 euros per person. Government politicians are mindful that the union passed a similar law in 2015, but it has never put into practice. Some issues are in the hands of the member states, such as deciding who a country should accept, and others are in the hands of the European Commission or the European Union, which should not interfere in the issues that are reserved for the states. The Polish government argues it has accepted the most Ukrainian refugees among the all EU member states and complains that hosting them has not been adequately compensated for with EU money. The country's conservative law and justice government has been a staunch opponent of EU migrant relocation schemes.